Hello and welcome to American Truck Simulator with me, Kevin Sawyer. Hope you girls and girls are well, enjoying your day, whatever you're up to. Let's go and see what we're up to today. Um, in today's episode, we are going to be reviewing this bad boy over here, which is the Kenworth W990. Um, I, I'm going to go good bad the ugly of this thing um reverse reference to how the the this the truck is actually detailed the truck is detailed and met, and met well pretty accurate to be fair uh, immensely accurate that's what was the word i was looking for um from what i know about w990s there when i first saw one i never liked it um and it's not because the mod has done a bad job on this. It's I don't like the real truck in real life. They look great as a uh, as a day cab. Don't get me wrong. They look actually look pretty nice as a day cab. But my my personal opinion of these is a uh, is not great looking trucks. Um, it's just the front. The grill looks lovely. Don't get me wrong. It's the lights I don't like. They look a bit weird i just can't put my finger on it makes it look a bit like a pig on the front and again the wear arch is a bit too wide and that's how how it is on a real truck not just on the mod um but looking at dl that aside i'm putting all my bias aside for this thing because i say i'm not a big 990 fan some people love them i don't hate them i just don't like them very much either. They're not just not my cup of tea. Um, they're just a bit. It's a. It's Americans' take of a throwback to the past with modern take to it, and it just. Although the I know the chrome on these is uh, the grill on this is real chrome, um, the real metal, chrome plated, um, and as well as the bumpers, that it's all real. Um, it just, I don't know, it just doesn't look real to me. It looks a bit fake. Both on, well, not so much on the mod so much, but in the real real truck. But, anyway, I've, I'm slating this thing for all it's worth. As aspects, as you guys and girls can see, this thing looks brilliant. Um, the mod has gone to expert lengths to make this thing as um, legit as it could be. Um, there's aspects of that. Um, let's jump in the truck. Let me just climb on up into the cab. As you can see, the door is open. Now, when I posted this on the American Truck uh, Simulator, well, the American Truck Simulator group on Facebook, uh, a lot of people were asking me, first of all, about my sim dash, which I haven't got up today because it because I'm recording this late at night. It's quite dark. Um, but how would I? How was the door opening and closing? It's part of the mod. When you turn the ignition on, it closes the door. But as you can see, the interior is pretty nice. Um, and of course, the I will leave a link down below for the for this mod, so you guys and girls can have a look and have a go on it for yourself. Um, Say so you are going to the aspects of all the customization in a minute but as you can see the details in the truck is pretty good and this is pretty much how they look in real life as well um, gauges all work um, let's see the brakes no, they don't move but I'm not really fussed about that does the uh, trailer brake move they do That's it's a bit weird how the both the that way it moves. All right, okay. Um, if I try and lean over, so don't know if you guys can see it. I'll show it in. The, in there we go. There's a TV and it actually plays a Kenworth. T Kenworth TV in the back. Which I think is a nice touch. I could love to go back there and show you, but you can't with truck I'm involved. Um, I don't know if I can scroll through the views. 
I wonder if there is a different view inside the cab. Nope. Nope. That's as good as it gets. Um, it comes with a variety of different engines and options. I'll go through all that in a sec. Let's go through that now, actually. Uh, so if I go to truck dealer, of course you'll find it in the Kenworth dealership. If I go online, buy online, and wait an eternity while it loads up everything in the anything under the sun. Right, uh, de -de -de -de. where are you? I think that's it there. No, it's Mac. That looks like the Joker. Right, let's grab that one. Right, as you can see, uh, I'll go for them all. So you've got a day cab option, and that's, I like it. When it's in a day cab, it looks nice. And I'd drive it every day if it was just in the day cab. I, I can learn to live with this grill like this, because it just looks a lot better in a day cab. Um, let's put it in the, it's, when it gets to that, it just looks, I don't know, it doesn't look too, bad there either but again I'd walk away and just say giving my keys back to my 521 or W900 and again it just it just it just looks and I don't think it's the modder that's done this I think it's how the truck actually looks in real life because I've seen both all sleepers pictures of these to just see if it was was the modder done a bad thing on this or whether it's the generally truck and it's how the truck does look in all these cool on the on these all these uh, aspects anyway I'm again I'm sounding like a broken record I'll go into nitty-gritty with these so rear aspects to chassis you have a six before shorts I'd call it six before I can't get my mouth in the gear today. Six by four short with a bigger fuel tank by the looks of it. Uh, yeah, 220 gal, 300 gal. Um, slightly longer chassis for 300, 300 gallon tank. That's yeah, like 230. Again, the chassis changes again. A slight different combination. Still six by four. And it's going to tell me I can't have that. Then you have the four by four configuration with a mid lift in the middle there. This is eight by four, two, four. Yeah, I guess that is eight by four. There's eight before. And the six before again. And that's your chassis options. Engine off options. Uh, it gives you a fair few. Uh, if I deselect. Oh, it's just got those selected already. So that's the engine options you got. So you start from there and work your way up to there. Um, there are slight subtle differences in engine sound, but not a great deal. Um, gearboxes, you start from there and then work your way up. Oh, sorry, I'm just rolling past really quick. Do, 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 do. Go right up. We've got several different options. We've got an 18 speed retard, non retard. No, nope, I don't want to quit. Interior, you have a few to select from. As you can see, as you go through them, it changes the interior layout and how you wish to have it. You can have a um, 
sort of like sat nav integrated, without sat nav integrated, different color combinations, um, all that good stuff. If I reel through to the back here, look, you can see the TV. I'll go into that in a sec. Um, but as you can look, you've got a little microwave oven there. Um, and again, it's done quite well. Um, what you'll find when you do download this and play with this for yourself, um, you'll find that when you downloaded it, there's several different files in there. One is for the truck, um, and then there's some sound options, I believe, and some lighting options as well. There's a README file as well for sort of like download it, uh, where to look for other mods that work well with this. Um, all that good stuff. It comes with its own sort of color schemes as well, as you can see. See, the model has spent a lot of time sort of like making this work. God, it looks quite nice in that two tone. Um, as I say, I'm not slating the modder, it's just the truck. I looked at it and I was like, I'll give it a try because it's a, something a bit more modern. It's a modern take on the W900, that's what it is. Uh, as for aspects for accessories, you've got lots. Uh, you've got the standard oversized load bumper option. Let's get rid of that so I can see what I'm doing. Uh, then you can, if you've got the light on add on pack which comes with it or suggests, um, you can stick those on it as well. Again, got lots of different options there, and then you've got light add ons. Again, I don't know what actually. Oh, he just puts these little LED lights on the bottom here. That's what that does. Again, that's again different variant of that. Again, I'm just going to try and gloss over these as quick as I can and then to get some more LED variants on that one. That gives you the metal bottoms there. Is that a grill option? I think that gives you, oh, that's the wheel, op wheel arch option. Gives you a plastic cover, which makes it look a bit more bearable. It'd probably look a bit better with bigger tires on it. Um, if you've got like bigger tire options, see that there's a slightly taller tire there, which is on the Mac, it would look a bit better. It'd stand a bit higher up. You'd have to sort of Frankenstein it to make it work. Um, it works. Oh, it also works with those other uh, an RTA mod which I've got, which it may may not works for that as well. Actually, looks quite nice with the old blue pump, blue pink mods. But it looks nice with the tyres as well, the wheels. Now that doesn't look too bad. See those wheels and tyres. Now if I discovered that. Although they are on a thin side, they actually make the truck look a lot more bearable to drive. So that's a tip if you do have the blueprint. If you have the 521, like me, um, you may find that it might work better with them wheels and tyres on it. actually looks a lot better with them. Hey, you discover things when it's too late. Anyway, it, as you see, it will work with most of the in-game stuff as well as any extra modded ones. You just have to make sure you've got the right wheels or the right tyres, otherwise you get problems like that. Um, if I move up to here, you get that. Move over to here, you get the little spawn medallion thing. Um, or Swan Hood, hood Ornament. You can choose between two different types of um, hood mirror. Um, again, it's one of those ones where you have to position yourself just right on dots or just right on the truck so you can get the right dots to come up. See, there's more options down here as well. That gives you light adapters for the seat, uh, for your seats, for your steps. I should say. Um, did I click on the right one? That gives you light options for there. That gives you a different painted tank, painted or chrome. 
don't know what that actually does. It says LED. Disappears. That's a bit of a weird one, that one. Oh, I see. I see it just there. Look, this little little LED just there. I don't know if you guys can see it. If I take it off and then add it again, see a little LED, like side marker light. Uh, that changes. I think stuff over here. Yeah, gives you like a slightly different. Gives you a window or a little vent. Um. That gives you another little side marker on the side. Those you can add. I don't know why I'd want to add just that. Let's roll down and see if it's... Nope. That might be them ones. All oh, right, okay, yeah. So it works well with them. So that's the old beacons. If you have them, the beacon pack or heavy hauler pack. Um, sorry if I miss bits as well. As you know, guys, I'm trying to make this as short and sweet as I can without going. So you've got different hood options, roof options. You can have a little, you can have horn or lights if you've got them see if it does cater for both it does you can set that up however you wish um, how does, what is that that's exhaust option you can have you can have them curved top or flat top depends on what your personal preference is I think I've covered all that yeah Oh, side skirts. Oh, okay. Right, okay. Uh, as for these dots, those are for the wheel arch of the fenders, or again, I call them splash guards. Um, you can have customized look if you wish. Uh, chromed, half chromed. Again, you can choose out whatever tyres you want, whatever you want to do. Around the back, um, you can have different mud flaps, if you so wish. I think that more or less covers a lot of the dots on here. Yeah. Well, if I go into interior options, this is where it gets interesting. You can... mirrors again you can customize the wheel it only gives you so many different wheel options though look it, it doesn't give you a customized one it just gives you variances of its own stock one again personal preference uh, you can if you've got the wheel accessory stick a wheel accessory on uh, if you look up here as well you can stick a CB in there as well. Uh, you can stick a uh, dangly on if you wish. That's hood ornament. That's a GPS on that. You can stick it there. I think you can stick it down here as well. Or down around here. Um, yeah. There's, one, there's two types. They look identical, but they do different things. That one I think is the GPS, and that one's just an onboard computer. Okay, sorry guys. Um, what was I saying? Gee, right, you got different options. Mirrors exclusive. You can again have painted options. You can 
have that if you wish. You don't have to have the side mirror if you don't wish it. There's a dot hanging up in the middle there. Oh yeah, that's the interior light. Now it does refer to that. You need that extra mod for that to work. Now if I scoot round, this will go to the TV, look. You have activate that. It won't play in here. But if you come back out the shop, you'll have the little TV running, like you saw just a minute ago. Oh, hang on. Did I just see another dot? Oh, that's events again. So you can oh, so you can see how that difference from inside. That more or less concludes everything. I think that does conclude everything. I'll just go out and then back in I think that does uh, yeah you can't change anything else I don't think you have any dashboard stuff that's just oh here you go you can put the GPS there as well if you wish what's this one do is that mirror again mirrors As you can see, look, the good model's gone into great detail. Look, you can see adjustments all there. Um, you know, it all looks pretty cool. Let's leave the shop. Let's fire it up so you guys can hear it, and I'll crack on with the job. So turn it to ignition one, door shuts automatically, don't have to worry about shutting the door. I showed a spec that I'm running, actually, if I go to diagnosis. There you go. That's the spec that I'm running. And you can see the damaged tires, but that's all that's got damaged on there. Right, let's disgage that. Let's crack on. See, so I've got a different trailer on today. I've got a flatbed. Just to mix it up a bit. I got a bit sick of driving box trailers. I'm not running the latest beta either. I'm just running the standard. I know the latest beta has got some new trailers on it with Kenworth, so we in preparation for the DLC. Of course, guys and girls, I will be getting DLC. That goes without saying. Whenever it comes out, I'll do a special. And what my plan for that is, I'm going to probably drive the, although I know the 521s were never built there, um, I'm going to drive the 521 back to the main manufacturer and pick up a load of Kenworths with it. That's the plan, rather than the W900. If I can get out of this junction. That's why I don't like Tucson. I need traffic lights. I'm going to have to wait, mate. To drive, it's actually quite sturdy. Um, you might find it struggles a little bit with trailers that are a bit on the top heavy side. I did, especially if you've got lift axle up. The only thing you may find, and I found with this thing, and I don't think it's a reflection on again on the modders. Um, on the modder's uh, capability or anything. Let's bring that up because that will make my life a little bit easier to be with you guys and see what gear I'm in and all that good stuff. Because um, from what a review I watched of a real W990, 
Um, the guy was saying, compared to driving a W series, regular, just 900. Um, it, although the chassis is identical um, in size, the engine spec identical in size, um, he said it felt like it kind of felt like it was uh, on a shorter chassis, and that's what it feels like to me as well. It kind of feels like it's on a shorter chassis. Oh, I've gone the wrong way, haven't I? Yeah. What I can do, actually, I can do a U inside here. Ah, oh, well, I don't wonder if that was going to happen. Oh, well, we're in the right place to fix it. I knew if I was going to cut that a bit, fine or not, I didn't come out. It's a, see what I mean about, I'm using the truck as an excuse, but I had a funny feeling that that's going to happen. Right, well, while we're here, I'll do a service on the, both this, so you can just oh, use these select tyres, although the tyres are brand new anyway. I'll repair it all, all while I'm at it. While the tyres. I don't see putting a brand new pair of tyres on if it. Kinda feels a lot like the T series, believe it or not. I guess it's in here. Looking at GPS, it's in here. No, me. Uh. He's gonna get snagged up on my trailer. Oh, that was a gnat's whisker between them. We should have pulled out, it's his fault. So I guess it's here. Uh, cargo. Concrete. Take job. Something else has got some concrete tubing already, right? Uh, for you guys that weren't watching the live stream, my random lot farming simulate live stream um, I mentioned I've got well the this is one of four mods that I'm doing for two for this American truck and this is one of two um, look, made a ham sandwich out there um, and I've got two for Euro truck as well Somebody like this. Go back to truck driving school, yeah, that's what I hear you say. Oh, I'm nuts. 
Ah, uh, not stalled. It's got to be in. It's got to be close enough. Yeah, that do me. Although it's not straight in the box, it's did a do for government work. And you know, switch the door should open again like that as soon as you switch the engine off. And then enter says me. It should load us up. And it's a nice foggy. Afternoon. Let's do grab a quick thimble because I've got a funny feeling the light's going to go on us. So let's just scoot over here. Get rid of that box. I could do it in photo mode, I guess. Let's try that for now. Let's try that one for a thimble. Right. Because I've got a funny feeling I'm going to lose the light. Uh, talking about lights, that that's what happens. You've got the interior light in. Lights up the whole cab. Some people like that. Some people don't. As I show you, the lights do work on the outside. Get onto full beam. You can see it's full beam works as well. Uh, indicators do work. Um let's try the back reversing. Yeah, as you can see that lights up with four lights there, as well as two lower lights as well. Right, let's get out of here. Do I don't need to do a tug test, I know this trailer's good. I don't really need full beams on, I just need side lights on because it's still light. Though the fog is quite thick. Legally, I'd say put the lights on. But it's not so thick you can't see the hand in. Whoa, Mr. Pickup! Well done. Well done, dude. He's going to get stuck there because my trailer's still half. Oh no, it's okay. I'll do once we get out onto the open highway, I'll do some more shots. Internal, external shots, you know, my crazy style. As well as the f four mods I'm covering, I've also mentioned that I managed to get my steering wheel, the one my old racing wheel, sorted out. Now I just need to get an adapter sorted out for it, so I can put it onto the G27. Bring up the travel information so you guys can see what's going on. What gear I'm in and what gear I'm grinding, etc. etc. Yada yada. Like good stuff. Mm, that was a bit quick, Kev. I got away with it.
Come on, dude. No. No. Had to bully my way out there. Yeah, some people prefer the interior light like this, some people don't. I can see the benefit of it. Um, it'd have to be positioned just right that you wouldn't get any glare from the windscreen back in your face. Because if it glares off the windscreen, at night it's going to be pretty much useless. Because you won't be able to see out the windscreen, all you'll see is just light reflection and it'd be like uh, that's no good it does have a jake as well I'll try and activate the jake if I can oh, brakes don't work very well I was going a bit quick heard Jake on then try and get a bit more Jake on for you it does quite stop it quite handily as well quite quite an aggressive Jake Call an aggressive Jake, but it's quite a good break on it. Didn't have my foot all the way down then. It's what a clutch, well, what a box grinded it to it. Speeding already doesn't help. Now you may be wondering, would I drive this thing again? To be honest, probably not. Um, it's although I say the mod has done a great job on this truck. Um, don't get me wrong. It's a, you know, it's a nice truck to drive. Um, it just like I say, it feels a bit short on this, on the suspension. Well, on the chassis side, it just feels a bit short. Um, and it's it, and it also understeers, which again, which I guess is one of those things. But I wouldn't drive it again. Um, to be fair. So it's a nice truck to drive, don't get me wrong, it's a really good mod. Let's put the no. I just don't want I I just don't want it's not my cup of tea, that's what I'm trying to get at. Um it's just not my it's just, I don't like, just don't like the truck. Um, would I keep it in my fleet? Yes, I would. Definitely keep it or have it as part of my fleet um, for another driver to use. Because although I don't like it, someone would. I'll just learn to live with it. 
kind of reminds me of say a lot of the T T series. I think it is, um, and the newer trucks. My headlights are full beam. It just feels a bit. I prefer you guys and girls know me well. I prefer my older rigs. Though this does have the Cathedral of Noise and Power in front of me, it's just. It's a bit of a. What I'd say is a bit of a Frankenstein of a truck. They've incorporated too many new and too many old. Um, things together and it's just a bit of a come on give me the key thank you but no reflection on what the mod has done he's done a superb job on this you know to say That's why I'd keep it in my fleet. I just wouldn't personally drive it again. But that's just my personal opinion. Um, you guys might have different mileage or... Your experience of the truck may vary to mine. Um, but I'll leave it at that. I um, hope you guys and girls enjoyed the episode. Um, if you did, again guys and girls, please feel free to like. Um, if you didn't enjoy it for any reason, again guys and girls, please feel free to dislike. Uh, leave a comment either way, um, so at least then I can try to improve in the future and just get some feedback from you guys. Um, if you know anyone else that may also find this useful or helpful um, or may enjoy watching this guys and girls, please feel free to share, it helps me a lot and I don't mind you sharing. Um, and if you're new to my channel, you'll see future episodes of this or anything else I'm working on. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notifications bell so you're informed as soon as I upload a new video. I'll see you in the next one. Ta ta for now. Whoops. <laughs>